Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Total Extreme Wrestling stream for WWE 2018. And we are looking to get as close as we can to SummerSlam today. And uh, our last time we came to you, we had Extreme Rules and a couple other shows beyond that. So for Extreme Rules itself, 88 rated show with Nakamura taking on AJ Styles and Randy Orton in a triple threat match. 90 rated, I believe that is our best rated match of the series. Um, so that went really well. Jeff Hardy defeated Rusev to keep the uh, US title. Brock Lesnar beat Finn Balor, which was never meant to happen, but we threw that together at the last second. Turned out to be decent at 79. Bludgeon Brothers kept the tag titles when they beat the club. Seth Rollins defeated Baron Corbin and Jinder Mahal to retain the IC Championship. Nia Jax defeated Ruby Riot to keep the Raw Women's title. Ted Bryan beat Big Cass. McIntyre and Ziggler defeated the leaders of Worlds in a tables match. Uh, Ronda Rousey had her first match. She beat down Dakota Kai real quickly. Nikki Bella defeated Asuka Naomi, Billy Kay, and Peyton Royce to become the number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Cedric Alexander defeated Buddy Murphy to keep the Cruiserweight title. Strowman and Lashley defeated Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens as well. And we had a few pre-show matches on top of that. So that's where we are at there. Um, and we had a few more Raw shows following up that. SmackDown, 205 Live. So we're now up to a SmackDown show and 205 Live now. So that's where we leave you there. All right, other than that, let's get into it. Let's start doing the show. So one thing I did notice um, that I looked at was this feud that I had between Neville and Mysterio that I was going to do at SummerSlam. I look at it today and I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to do it. You know, I kind of I kind of want to scrap the idea of that. Um, I think I've made the decision that I might release Neville and, and get rid of him. Because I just don't see him coming back. I just don't see him being a thing. I just don't see it happening and I just feel like no. So, for Ray Masuro, I mean, I still think he's a chance to come back to WWE. I think he probably will show up every now and then. So, I think him having a match with SummerSlam is possible, but I don't... I don't think we can fit him on this card if we wanted to, really. Watch him pull hundreds if you release him. I think he probably will. But actually, Neville, looking at his stats... I mean, his aerial is really good. Basics is good. Mark skills are okay. He's actually not rated that good. Flashy this is good. But his chain wrestling, his mat wrestling, his submissions, a lot of the things that really matter. Brawling. You cannot you can't even swing a chair apparently with five hardcore. Um psychology's not good. Neville's actually rated really poorly. He's not actually that good. I just feel like I feel like it's not happening. I don't feel like he's gonna come back. And I, I, because of that, I mean, I know I'm double standing here because I brought back Enzo. Enzo is different because to me, I don't think Enzo is going to come back either. But we need, I don't know, I just feel like we need Enzo for our 205 Live badly. And we're not going to use Neville 205 Live, so we could have Enzo come in. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's at the end of the day. It's whatever we want it to be. If we want to use Neville, we can use Neville, but um, I'm not going to. And I saw, I want to, I think to me, it's more interesting to see what's going to happen to Neville outside of WWE. I want to see if he goes to Japan. I want to see if he goes to Impact, Ring of Honor. I want to see where he goes. That to me is more of an interesting scenario for me and Neville rather than actually booking Neville himself. So Neville's going to go. We we have to pay 120k to get rid of him. Gone. Neville's done. Enzo at least deserves a chance for his career at least. I mean that's the thing. Like Enzo is innocent. He's you know I guess he's done his time. You know even without actually doing anything wrong. So yeah, in, in that regard, I feel like bringing him back. He'll help out to a five live. He's, he's more of a chance, I think, at this point than Neville. So this is 205 Live. Let's see the results, including the Enzo More return 
And my goodness, we had a C-rated segment at 64. Oh my god, we haven't seen too many of those. Enzo's back. He returns to 205 Live promoting his new music, talking about how great his music is. You know, he's the biggest rapper in the world right now, he reckons. He's entered the rap game, having all the success. WWE begging him, please, Enzo, come back. You're this big star, he says. Kalisto interrupts and says, we don't want you back, Enzo. Nobody wants you back. Nobody missed you. We don't want to see you. You know, go away, essentially. Starts off that feud 64 rated. That's probably, what, our best segment we've ever done in our life. Until 5 Live. Whew. We followed up with uh, a Back to Reality segment with uh, Dorado and Gulak, 45 rated for their match. Davari and Tazara was good, 51. D plus, you take that. Tony Nese and Mark Andrews, 48. Nese, 48 rated himself, that was good. And the final segment, oh hallelujah, we are on fire today. A 58 C rated segment. C minus. Let me have the C. Let's say C. Uh, it was uh, it was very good with Cedric, Brian Kendrick, and we put the GM, Jake Maverick, out there. Bit of a face to face promo. Ugh, 58. That's, that's as good as gold, isn't it? Excellent. And that will give us a 53 rated 205 live episode. Is that our best we've ever done? I don't know, but that is. That's amazing. This is SmackDown Live, the results. So we start things off with Randy Orton and Nakamura. So Orton wanted an answer. He wanted to know if he's going to get a title rematch against Nakamura or not. From behind, Nakamura, bang, hits him with the Kinshasa. Lays out Randy Orton's surprise attack. A bit like the RKO out of nowhere, but turn, but uh, turned around against him. 99 rated, so that's very good. Very, very good. Jeff Hardy went 101 with Big Cass, 64 rated. Jeff 64, Big Cass 57. Carmella had a promo on Nikki Bella, 53. The Miz, wow, had a really good match against Xavier Woods, 80 rated. The Miz, 80 himself, Xavier 61. Maybe that should have been the main event. Miz and Maurice had pretty good chemistry. Good to see that back in action, Miz and Maurice. Daniel Bryan, promo on The Miz, 93. Very good. Charlotte and Becky teamed up to take on Tamina and Lana for 67. Tamina and Lana have absolutely zero chemistry as partners. Charlotte and Becky had great chemistry as partners. Okay, so Becky 69, Charlotte 78. Lana 29, Tamina 37. Oh boy. 67 overall. Could have been a lot worse than that. Andrade promo 55 with Renee Young hopping himself up. I don't know if the, is the hype up working for Andrade? I'm not sure yet. Uh, Winnie Pup, thanks for the follow. Shelton Benjamin vs. R Truth 67. Benjamin 71. Damn, Benjamin's good. 70. It's like Benjamin is ridiculously good. Chad Gable on Raw is ridiculously good. Tell me again why we split them up. I uh, wish we didn't have to. 67 overall, really good. That, that does not deserve to be that good. Oscar Billy K, 65. Oscar 66, Billy K, 47. Again, a lot better than probably should have been. We had a video hyping up the history between AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. Obviously, they've had history because of their time in TNA. They probably did something in Ring of Honor. I don't know. I'm sure they did. You know, etc. So, we highlighted the history between the two in that hype video. We then had Joe in the main event, took on Big E, so probably should have done Xavier and The Miz, maybe. But anyways, Big E was getting tired towards the end after 17 minutes. Mm, okay. Joe and Big E have great chemistry, so it probably did turn out to be a good decision. Joe, 92. Wow. Big E, 69. So Big E probably could have done a 74, 73 if he wasn't tired. 78 overall. Joe was very good. Very, very good. But um, yeah, so 78 for that match gives us an 82 overall show. Let's show the results of this week's Raw episode. So we've got the big turn angle between Kurt Angle and Bobby Roode. Kurt Angle calling out Bobby Roode to the ring, trying to fix out the issues with Bobby Roode because Bobby Roode's unhappy on Raw. They can't 
they seem to have a resolution, but just when Kurt Angle thinks he's got it all sorted, Bobby Roode attacks him, lays him out, beats him down probably brutally, I would say, for an 83-rated segment. And, yeah, that's a good, it was a good segment. Nothing really to penalize it with. And we'll go with the turn. So, Bobby Roode switches gimmicks. He's now above average for the fabulous heel gimmick, kind of playing off the whole glorious. And the turn was a success. So, let's hope that helps Bobby Roode out. And there we go. So, now Bobby Roode's officially turned heel. Thank goodness for that. And will now give us the opportunity to do Bobby Roode, Kurt Angle at SummerSlam. And I'll probably say after SummerSlam, we'll probably do Seth Rollins versus Bobby Roode and have Roode win the IC title. 83 rated. We had a couple of local guys come in and, and lose to the Authors of Pain. Just put over the Authors of Pain a bit. Um, Aiken Rizal, pretty good. Around the 50 mark. Ronda Rousey promo. Wow. 88 rated. I... Her mic skills are like 80 rated. I think they need to be cut back, to be honest. But we'll take it. 88 rated for Pro 170 is very good. Matt Hardy, 57. Uh, for his match against Matt Hardy and Dash Wild, 57. Matt Hardy, 55. Dash, 48. Matt Hardy getting the win. Just a match to get Matt Hardy the win and keep that uh, tag team segment going. Got uh, stories going. Finn Balor Pro on Seth Rollins, very good. 87. I guess that's playing off the fact that Rollins has very good popularity. Tag team action with Bailey and Sasha Banks team have to take on Natalia and Alexa Bliss, 63 rated. A potential heel turn for Sasha was hinted. So we're turning Sasha, are we? I forgot about that. I think that's probably a good idea. It'd be a good idea. Um, Sasha 60, Bailey 54, Alexa Bliss 61, Natalia 59. Drew Mack and Dolph Ziggler, they had a promo, hyping themselves up for 70 rated. Ruby Wright versus Mickey James, 55 rated. Ruby Wright, 48. Mickey James, 51. Ruby Wright getting the victory. And we are potentially turning Mickey James heel to probably pair up with Alexa Bliss like they do in real life. The Wright squad then had a promo on Ronda Rousey. That will obviously will lose the heat. So I guess with that, being said, we probably need to have the right squad not doing majority of the work of this feud because it's going to drag it down. Um, we are going to turn a change Liv Morgan's gimmick. I finally remembered to do it, and we changed it to a prima donna, donna gimmick, which is just basically her being self-centered, all about Liv Morgan, and it got a rating of great. Need to do Sarah Logan's gimmick. Honestly, Sarah Logan. Needs to go back down NXT. So does Liv Morgan, but Sarah Logan more so. Elias had a song on Apollo Crews. He then th he then beat Apollo Crews for 53 rated. Crews 53. Elias, very good, 61. Semi Zayn, Kevin Owens, God rolls long. 79 rated. So many segments for their upcoming match against Lashley and Strowman. We're gonna do a rematch between those two teams at SummerSlam. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens then teamed up to take on Slater and Rhino for 78. Kevin Owens was the MVP of this match. 93. Wow. Sami Zayn, 77. Rhino, 47. He's Slater, 46. Roman Reigns had a promo. He showed up. 92 rated. He's injured, but he will be ready for his match against Lesnar at SummerSlam, he says. At least I think he will. I hope so. Seth Rollins versus Jinder Mahal in the main event, 79. Rollins, 88. Jinder, 62. Jinder was kind of shitty. What happened to Jinder? Stamina. 20 minutes. Jinder struggled to go that distance. And that's defense number seven for Seth. 82 overall show for Raw. All right, let's have a look at the results of 205 Live. Wow, this sucked. Okay, uh, so Enzo was in the ring um, with the superstars of 205 Live. Well, they're in the ring talking about how they don't want Enzo here. They're banding together to try and get rid of Enzo. Enzo comes out and says that he's not going anywhere, etc., etc. That was really bad. 
Uh, Twiggy, thanks for the follow. That was really bad. 41. Kalisa struggled because Enzo wasn't using the script. Mustafa Ali struggled because Enzo wasn't using the script. So, Enzo was good. Everyone else was not very good, apparently. Tommy's better his match later. Tami and Davari had a good match. Dale Tami 61, Davari 45, 52 overall. And Davari won because he used the ropes for leverage. He cheated his way to victory. Cedric had a promo on Brian Kendrick, 49. Grand Metalik vs. Buddy Murphy, 48. Metalik, 53. Buddy Murphy, 46. Enzo had a promo hyping himself up, 55. That's a bit better. I actually thought this would be really good. With Renee's mark skills, Enzo's mark skills. I thought this would be really good, but clearly not. And Enzo, his first match back in the WWE. How does he go? 47. Enzo, 49. Mark Andrews, 46. The key note here is, is that Enzo has about 4, 54 popularity. So he's performing about 5 below his popularity, which is an issue. Very much an issue. So Enzo, clearly, can't wrestle very well. Mark Andrews has used too much. Yeah, I guess he had a couple segments. 48 rated overall. Not ideal. Have you caught up Leah Rush? No, I forgot to do that. Thank you for reminding me. So Leah Rush, um, he's still improving, but, you know, another name would be handy to have until Five Live, so... I'm going to call up Leo Rush. Put him on 205 Live, make him a mid-carder. What's his gimmick? Old school face. So, he's a better face than a heel, but you guys have been saying he's a, like a, got a Mayweather type of gimmick. Like he's... So we'll try and reflect that. Character is a good looking, rich, cocky kid who works in the city and makes a lot of money. Yeah, and that nearly works, doesn't it? Not a. I wouldn't really say city slicker, but the description is everything that he is. But I wouldn't. What I'm trying to say is, I wouldn't say Leal Rush is a city, city slicker, but the description of what the gimmick is. So stop it. We'll do that. Um, I probably will increase his heel rating. Probably make it 70. Just to even it out. Maybe make him 70-70. So Leah Rush joins Till 5 Live. There you go. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do leave a like on it. Subscribe to see more. And of course, follow me on Twitch to see my streams over there. If you want to watch the full stream, the full two-hour version is available on Twitch right now. Twitch.tv slash Brendan Plays. Give it a follow. Subscribe if you like as well. Support the stream. Support me over there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.